let's understand the data movement between RAM and the hard disk in this module. So in every machine, computer machine, you'll be having a hard disk and a RAM, which is nothing but our memory. So the data what we store will be stored on disk and will be read to memory. So the data transportation will happen whenever we seek any operation on any data. If you have tables like 1, 2, 3, 4 and that will be read into the memory when we make a call. Let's see this. Now we are calling the table country. So when we are selecting only the column country in a relational table it will search for the full table and get the columns values for country. But whereas in Redshift, as it is columnar database, only the country field will be read. When you consider with the traditional row based databases, full data will be read and then only country column will be extracted. If you select star from table name, all the columns will be read. So in this case, there is no difference between Redshift and row based databases. But whereas for most of our analytical requirements, we select the columns and using Redshift will be an added advantage here because the I.O. it takes, the input-output operations it takes to read from hard disk to memory is very minimal in case of Redshift because the data within a column is already compressed as we discussed in our previous discussions. Now, if I want to read from a table and write to a table. I can just do this. Select star into table name. So it reads from the table and creates a table called temp call table. Now here, when I write select star from temp call table, it will read from temp table. Here, the temp table is written into disk and it is further read from the second statement. So, if I am writing any SQL statement where I need to temporarily store this data, I can use this. But again the cost of writing to disk and reading to memory is back. So to avoid this, we have temp tables. Now you just put the pound sign before the temp table. Select star into hash temp call table. This will create a temporary table which sits in memory and not on hard disk. So now we cut down on the cost of input output operations of writing memory table from memory to hard disk and getting it back because the table is already in memory. So these temp tables, let's discuss about temp tables. You can use this statement create temp table and temp table and you can write the column names whatever you want or if you want to create the temp table from any other existing table you can use the previous statement and you can even use this statement create temp table table name like another table it, it will just create the structure of the table but not the data now these temp tables are independent of a user session suppose if you are creating a temp table with name temp underscore table and if one more user, user 2, is creating temp table, then that is independent to them. And you, both the users can create the table with the same name, temp underscore table, as it is independent to each other. So using temp tables will be an added advantage in terms of performance tuning. Thank you.